Pretty much, pretty much. My Mimic type. But anyway, uh, I actually think this is a pretty, pretty good Mimic matchup. Uh, Snake does have a lot of things that he can do, but for the most part, that two frame destroys Cypher so easily, and then is able to uh, lag on it and catch Snake's air dodge. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, yeah. That and also, uh, Mimin gets a lot more off of trades than Snake does because normally it's with her, you know, non. Uh, sorry. Officially, her arms are classified as non-reflectable projectiles. So no hurt box on them, which means that any trade will just favor uh, Pink Fresh and my lord. That DI was suspect right there. Oh wow! Well, as a nice zero to death for Pink Fresh starting off. And you know another thing about this matchup is you know Snakes loves to get like like grenade uh, clanks, Combos. like like clanks when like what's it what's it called when like two moves? Oh, it's clank, yeah. Something like something like that. Trade, trades. So it's like. Since Min Min's like oh a character oh that goodness. goes far away, mm -hmm. you know, it's not gonna hit Min Min because she's so far away. So it's exactly you totally new combo routes and just new gameplay you have to take against uh, a Min Min right here. And Pink Fresh already showing his experience in this matchup. While Luki looking kind of lost right now, and that's gonna be an up B up air. No, or I do like waiting for the jump uh, that Wall Luki did not give, and that what? And now Smash is gonna take it. That was incredible right there. Up smashing between the forward tilt inputs right there. And I'm happy that Pink Fresh doesn't do down tilt up smash because that is my least favorite combo in the game. <laughs> it's disgusting and no one should ever do that. Yeah. Because again, just down tilt nair gets you more things. That's all I'm saying. Down tilt nair, ram ram forward smash, uh, dragon forward smash. It's a combo. 56. But anyway. All right. Well, I unfortunately have to go. Oh, you do I all have my unfortunate. sets. But. I will most likely be back to check in again. Understood, after I man. Win, I am so. looking forward to it. An unfortunate SD from Pink Fresh right there. But yeah, I mean, it's all because you weren't here. All right, best of luck. All right, love that. People really discount how amazing Mimin's throws are. Her four throw is an incredible combo and tech chase throw. And when you have arms as long as hers, those tech chases are stupidly strong. Also, back throw, her most damage dealing throw, does a lot of damage, can combo at low percents as well as kill at high percents. Up throw, same thing, can do a lot of damage, and down throw can re is really good at just setting up positioning. I use down throw a lot, not a lot of Mimmons do, but it's so nice. But speaking of positioning right now, look at the ledge trap that Walugi has cooking up for Pink Fresh right now. Pink Fresh able just to run center stage zone, get through all of it. Let's see, that grenade is kind of slowly bouncing on the ground. And while Luki, Snake is known for their inability to really make good comebacks a lot of the time because they rely so heavily on trades and grenade can betray them so easily. And right now, Pink Fresh just seems to have Wall Luki's number right here. Good dash check in there. Somehow only getting the sour spots on just about everything. And that's it. Perfectly spaced. Dragon F2 going to be taking that game number one. But again, this is a best of five set while Luki not out of it in the slightest. Counterplay can be made, and I have seen Snake take games over Min Min's. I just don't know if that Min Min has ever been Pink Fresh. But first time for everything, am I right? All right, did Miss Rook going to be going for game two here, but same characters, same colors? Oh, yeah, same colors. There we go. You can see Wall Luki smiling. No matter what happens, we are having a good time here tonight at the Zandu venue. Okay, I love what Pink went for there. That is my one of my favorite combos in the game. Uh, Min Min, uh, sorry, just forward throw into Ram Ram forward tilt, uh, Dragon F Smash uh, laser. It does 56, and if you don't DI it perfectly like Wall Luki did there, which is down and away, then you will just be in a world of her, and it can't even kill a ledge at zero. Oh, but this is already a much better start from Waluki, as in he did not get zero to death. So, but either way, even game though, so this is actually really nice. That C4 though on the, on the ledge, not really doing too many favors. I love that edge guard attempt right there and blowing himself up. So unfortunate, but hey, we can just smiling at it. Walk it off, man. You're fine. You are in winter semis right now at Zandu Homecoming. It's all right. All right, but Pink Fresh might be taking a. Uh, Taking this lead in stride right now. What a get up attack. Catching it before the mortar even leaves the barrel. That's probably a safety violation for the person firing it, but that's okay. Ooh, yeah. Full commit on that Ram Ram. While Luki able to get out of it. And somehow that uh, Nikita not hitting. All right. Let's just see. Again, while well, Luki's percent deficit is slowly climbing. He needs to be so careful right now. And beautiful down smash. 
uh, Pink Fresh. Ooh, good catch right there with the up B. Down smash is such an amazing move on Min Min. People are never ready for it. It is so fast. Uh, it, oh, that's a combo, yeah. Uh, Megawatt near combos really, really well. Same thing with Megawatt F2. Yeah, and again, I love the down smash he's doing now. Such a fast move. Such a good move that kills really early. It also does pancake a lot. Alright, but there we go. Finally getting a stock while Lugi. But 40% already on your last stock. Pink Fresh sitting, even, sitting nice and pretty at 10% on his second. That's it, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a big punish right there. Yup. Nair out of shield into the mist tech. Don't get upbeat again, my friend. Oh, it said you're gonna get forwarded by Megawa. I don't know if that's any better. And I love how Pink Fresh really tries to read the jump out of these uh, that situations. Somehow missing that, getting up tilted. Oh my god, this is this uh, play right now from Pink Fresh isn't saying that's gonna be it. Yeah, the instant he went high, Pink Fresh has it scouted. And Pink Fresh one game away from making the winners finals right now. Right, again, I still love how Waluigi is always smiling here. Again, shake it off. You were doing it in that first stock, and then you, and then the lead just got a little bit away. If you hold it down, if you get that stock first, this could very well be your set to take, Waluigi. Take deep breaths, see what can happen. But again, I don't want to be the one to say it. Pink Fresh is looking really dominant right now. And again, a lot of that does lend to the matchup, but all I'm saying is that Waluigi can beat any run of the mill of Min Min. Pink Fresh is just different. It is insane just how practiced he is with not only this character, but with the game himself. He's been a veteran here at the Smash Team for so long, and that weight on the fourth throw tech was incredible right there. Love the uses of Nair. This is 79% uncontested, and you're in a ledge trap scenario. You're gonna be able to get that dash attack out of the mistimed ledge pressure, though. Waluigi, how do you get in now? Wow, scared in shield. Pink Fresh smelling that fear and getting that amazing grab. All right, back are starting, though. How do you get through this uh, this this minefield right now? Pink Fresh finding the slot though. Oh, Emmy got the Kahuna uh, the Kahuna theme from uh, uh, Sun and Moon, one of my favorite games. Let's go. Oh wow, Nikita was chasing Pink Fresh up there. Good parry on that Nair, and now it's still a, a sizable lead for Pink Fresh. But things can very quickly turn, especially when you're full committed to that forward smash, and you get eaten by and you get a grenade for your troubles. All right, there we go. Nikita off stage. Going to be sending Pink Fresh back up it, though. And that Megawatt forward, air, forward smash not taking it just yet. Or I think that was just a forward tilt. Oh, yeah. That up smash arguably the best in the game with just its, its versatility, its range, and its kill power. My lord. Wow, great catch on the jump. Yeah, uh, Min Min only had one recovery path right there, and it had, and it started with an air dodge, and that meant end lag that Nikita can take advantage of. Great showing by Waluigi right there, able to break this back to an even game. Despite being disadvantaged, that spot drops past the grab was incredible, and a rare down air, out of sh uh, down air for Pink Fresh right there. All right, Cypher saying, I got you, homie. He's acting on, uh, just kind of breaking Min Min's shins. But now you're stuck again at the ledge. Such a scary spot, and I don't know how that grabbed. Ooh, that was such a good smash input forward air right there from Pink Fresh. Perfectly spaced to hit Snake, not the Cypher, and do so much damage. Oh, that's going to be a combo, yeah. Oh, thankfully not going to be getting the follow-up on it. And now what was looking like an even game has just gone to Pink Fresh entirely. Well, Luke, you need to make something happen right there. And that up air could be a start. But then again, these forwarded are so well placed. But forgetting that the C4 was there. Oh, this could be a huge drop. No. And again, Pink Fresh just looking so collected right now. Low profiling the dash attack hitbox. Not many characters can do that, but yes, Min, Min does only have the hitbox on her leg, which is raised. You can low profile it if you are ready for it. Nice F tilt right there. The knee into the hammer fist. It looks so brutal. And then Nikita after the fact. All right, this is your potential winner side stock while Luki, if you are not careful, you got to make something happen. Still getting a punish on that forward tilt. That is really impressive and hard to do. Because normally Mimic can just uh, jump out of it. Oh, and the get-up attack. You can tell Waluigi did not, did not mean to do that. Unfortunate, but either way, that is going to be Pink Fresh moving into Winner's Finals. As we're going to be, and we ourselves are going to be moving on to the next side of Winner's Semis. Chris versus Dexter. And I'm not too sure if I've actually seen these two play. They are both locals here at uh, uh, at Xanadu and just Marin in general. But I don't know if I've ever seen them play, on, play in bracket. 
So, hey man, I'm excited for this though, because I, if there's anybody who can beat uh, the absolute wall that is Chris's Steve, who ma makes walls, huh? uh, it is going to be Dexter, just with his patience and his surgical ability to place every single combo hitbox exactly where he needs it. I'm very excited for this. Uh, and again, let's just go ahead and check how Losers is shaping up, because we might be lo moving into there right after this. So, again, for those of you who, don't, uh, who would like to check back, you should go ahead and do that. And wow, Slacker making top 8 loser side. Let's go, Slacker, for those of you who don't know, an absolutely incredible Joker main who rocks the yellow trench coat skin. Something very underrepresented here in, uh, in Smash. 